Very good. The lesson we'll be speaking with our children about today is the lesson on sin. This is very important uh, because there's some great misconceptions about sin uh, among Christians and obviously in the world in general. Um, uh, modern man likes to avoid uh, legalism when it comes to sin, probably uh, because of their own guilt. But we also want to avoid too much of a legalism when it comes to sin. Uh, yes, sin is breaking God's commandments. And then we look at what God's commandments are, and they are love. And we'll talk about commandments in the next couple of lessons. Um, but the fact is, is that um, we really uh, have to make it a point to avoid sin. Because ultimately, of course, mortal sin is what determines whether a baptized person goes to heaven or to hell. And so, if nothing else, for our own eternal happiness, we want to avoid sin. But I think that that falls into that legalism which we have to avoid. So that's why we're defining sin as a failure to love. So it's certainly a personal guilt, but what it is guilt of is failing to love. And we see that uh, the lesson today is going to speak about original sin. This is a very real thing. Uh, all you have to do is uh, look at uh, small children to see how deeply rooted sin is in our, in our fallen human nature. Um, and we have to uh, see original sin as the enmity between the human race and God, thanks to Adam's choice. And that is, of course, why we need a Redeemer. And then, of course, our own personal sin, which is either uh, venial or mortal. And again, I think this is very important that we recognize what we're actually, what sin actually is. If sin is a failure to love, then mortal sin is a very definitive failure to love God, a, a choice to separate ourselves from the love of God. And therefore, if heaven is enjoying that love of God forever, then if we have cut ourselves off from love, then we have cut ourselves off from heaven. So. I do agree that we certainly don't want to be too legalistic in our view on sin, um, while at the same time not forgetting that there is a very real, uh, there's a real uh, consequence to mortal sin. And again, it's not legalistic. Uh, if we approached our relationship with anyone else the way we approached our relationship with God, we would not question the fact that certain things that we do would cause our relationship with that other person to be ruined, and yet we don't seem to blink when that comes to God. And I think that's really the important point, and one of the reasons why I'm here in my oratory sitting beneath the crucifix, because that is the best image for what sin really is. The fact that we offend God as much as we do, and we therefore uh, cause the death of our Lord. If we accept that Jesus came to die for our sins, which as Christians we accept, then we also have to accept the fact that it is my sin and not just the collective sin of humanity that contributes to his death. And so if we want our best motivation to not sin, certainly we can look to the punishments of hell. We can see the consequences in the world, in the life that we live now that our sin has, but ultimately if we truly love Jesus, to look at the crucifix and recognize what our sins do and therefore repent of them.